Time now for some uh, examination of business stories doing the rounds in Greater Manchester. Chris Fletcher's here. He's the Deputy Chief Executive of Greater Manchester's Chamber of Commerce, so knows his stuff. Welcome again, Chris. Good to see you. Uh, now, you and I haven't spoken since we officially came out of recession. I've spoken no. to business people who run companies, but you there at the Chamber. Yeah. Um, good news for Greater Manchester. Are your members pleased with this news? Um, yeah, I mean, 0.1% growth was announced last uh, week. It doesn't seem a lot, but it's positive, and we've had 18 months or so of negative growth figures. Is that horrible phrase again? Um, so at least things are moving forward. Uh, and again, I'm more interested in what a phrase the real economy. In other words, what our business members are actually saying to us about yeah. what's actually happening and are they within their more companies. Confident? There is an increased amount of confidence out there. You know, we're getting people saying, "Well, actually, we're probably going to have to recruit sometime this year. We're going to have to take new people on. Uh, we're looking at putting the investment plans in place now." So there is that movement beginning to come through now. So yeah, it's moving in the right direction, which is good Still news. Still a long way to go, but yeah. it's good news. At we're last, not out yeah. of the woods yet, but we're, we're no, very near the no, edge. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Speaking of recruitment, I, I noticed uh, in the Sunday Times today, flicking through as I was, they've uh, announced Jeff Muirhead's uh, job. Jeff Muirhead, the chief executive of the airport, yeah. is to stand yeah. down. It's a key yeah. position in Greater Manchester, isn't absolutely it? Absolutely crucial. It's actually broader than Greater Manchester. Well, it's obviously a great asset for Manchester and Greater Manchester, and obviously it's owned by the ten local authorities uh, around the city. Um, it's actually fundamental uh, for the North West and indeed the North of England. It's seen as a major international gateway uh, for getting businesses in and out and obviously moving passengers around. So it's absolutely crucial that they make the right appointment. It's a very high profile position and one that actually coming where we are now in, in the economy is absolutely crucial as well because we've seen some bad news stories coming out of Manchester Airport, airlines dropping flights, etc. So that new person now has got a task to really put Manchester Airport back on the forefront. Uh, so it will attract a good calibre of Candidate. I would imagine so, yes, absolutely. Um, will, however, they make as much as Mark Bolland, the new chief executive of Marks and Spencer? I suspect not. Well, I'll tell you what, if they are doing, I might put my name in, in, in the ring myself. Uh, yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Um, I mean, you hear about golden hellos. Well, I think this is platinum gold plated and diamond encrusted all in one, one, one go. Something like £7.5 million pounds he's receiving just because he's gone from his job at Morrison's and his potential lost earnings there That's to just take to over move. at Marks and Spencer's. That's just to move, yeah. Never mind, million just never mind to move what he's actually getting Tilda. from Marks and Spencer's. So it's absolutely unbelievable, you know. Uh, the package, all in all, I'm told, uh, is worth about £15 million quid. Yeah, yeah. Um, is he worth it? Um, well, I don't know. Tough That's, job, I was going to say it's a $64,000 question. It's a £15 million question, I suppose, really. The share price has gone up on, on the announcement that he's, he's coming in. I think he's starting in May. It depends. People must put some sort of value on these top-level chief executives. I mean, they basically exist on a different plane and a different strata, I think, to, to most normal people. Uh, they must have something in there. There must be something that they see in Mr Bolland to take them forward from the job that Sir Stuart Rose has done. Because it is difficult, isn't it, for, for you and I and all, all ordinary Greater Mancunians to take this on board when, you know, we're all saying, well, come the next election, whichever government's in power, there are going to be cuts, you know, public yeah, sector yeah. pay is going to have to be frozen, our yeah, national yeah. debt is astronomical, yeah. and yet it looks like this get paid an absolute fortune. Absolutely, and I think sometimes this doesn't do the private sector any good because it tends to sort of skew people's viewpoints on it, that anybody that runs a business has immediately got, you know, the sort of snout in the trough and the, the wallowing in money and one thing or another. It's not like that, and believe you me, I speak to a lot of our members, and it is nothing like that. This is in a different world to, uh, to most ordinary businesses here in yep. Greater Manchester. Most Greater Manchester people running businesses are working extremely hard, and the best of luck to them, Chris. Absolutely. As always, thank you for your thoughts.